I think you've had enough to drink for now. <laughs> that's five shots now. I'm sure that's more than enough to get you swaying in your seat. Everyone in the office knows you're a lightweight. Yeah, yeah. I'm helping you to not embarrass yourself. You'll thank me later. You want to, uh, dance now? With me? Yeah, you're half drunk and there are way too many people watching. If you start moving too much, you're gonna end up puking everywhere. Like last year at the New Year's Eve party. I'd rather not see that again if I can help it. Uh, fine, but I am leaving if you start looking green. These shoes are brand new, okay? Brand new. If you get them dirty, you are buying me a new pair. Oh, you think I won't leave? Pretty sure you don't need me to babysit you. Okay, so we happen to live in the same direction and frequent the same social circles. It's not like I'm following you around or anything. I am not a stalker. It's just a series of unfortunate coincidences. Oh, come on, that was one time. I just had to make sure you made it home safely. What's wrong with that? Doesn't mean I'm your official babysitter. At least they get paid. In fact, you should be grateful I always keep an eye out for you. Who knows what could be lurking out there, waiting for you. Haven't you heard the news? Lots of kidnapping cases lately. People going missing left and right. Especially around this area. It's very dangerous. Anyway, weren't you gonna dance? You're looking a little wobbly there. Oh, careful. I don't want you to smash that pretty face of yours against the floor. You okay? Mm, yeah, I don't think you're in any condition to dance. Want to get some fresh air instead? All right, I'll walk you out. Let me tell the others you'll be leaving early. I don't really mind leaving early, it's alright. Can I tell you a secret? I hate these outings. They are super boring, and the majority of people in our office are too old for it to not be awkward. Feels like I'm going out with a bunch of relatives. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I know, I'm popular and they like me. Doesn't mean I have to like them back, though. I'm just polite. Being nice and helpful goes a long way, you know? Everyone loves a goody two-shoes, especially when there's money involved. Why do you think I got so many sales? <laughs> you jealous of me? I'm not gonna judge you for it. It's basic human nature. It's not what others have. You see my popularity and my achievements, and you can't help but compare yourself to me. Uh, there's no need to deny it so adamantly. I know you keep an eye on my every move. And I know you've been working extra hard to catch up to me. Yes, of course I've noticed. The extra hours, the extra effort. You can work from home when you don't really have to. That's what made me notice you in the first place. You're the first one to openly challenge me for my position like this, and I... like it. You're diligent, quick learner, and earnest. If I wasn't around, my position would be yours. What a shame, huh? I wonder, are you this earnest in other aspects of your life? It is an admirable trait. Seems like we're not alone. 
I told you this area is especially dangerous at night. Yeah, don't make any sudden movements. Hello there. Do you need any help? You look quite sick. <laughs> Whoa there. If I didn't know better, that's where you're trying to rip my heart out. And I know that's not the case. Because even a newborn like you should know better than to approach an archdemon in plain sight. Oh, you're interested in my companion's blood. I'm afraid that's the one human you shouldn't target, Leech. Listen, I'm trying to be nice here. Giving you a fair warning and all. Which is more than any of my fellow archdemons would do. Especially the glutton guarding this one. So why don't you do both of us a favor and kindly fuck off? You smell like death. <sighs> you newborn vampires are disgusting. Not even bothering to clean up after mauling someone. What are you, a mindless animal? Hm. Fine. Don't say I didn't warn you. Well, that was embarrassing. Hope you don't judge me too hard for it. <clears throat> Where were we before that interruption? Why do you look so surprised? I know Gluttony's been following you around for years now. Won't shut up about how delicious your soul is. You know of our existence already, so why the white eyes? Oh, right, right. The vampire. Uh, yeah. That one was a mindless newborn. They attack anything with a pulse, pretty much. Seems like there's an elder going around turning humans for some reason. Building an army, perhaps? Who knows. I guess our presence in the city is making these other races pretty nervous. <laughs> you didn't know that? Yeah. Vampires, werewolves, demons, witches, any other supernatural creature you can think of. All real. We mind your own business, though, which is why you humans are clueless most of the time. Oh, you want a proper introduction, too, I guess? I am Envy. Real name's a secret, as usual. But if you look me up online, I'm sure you'll find plenty of other names to call me by. I won't bore you with the spiel. The real reason why I noticed you? Well, you see, Gluttony and I, we've got a little bet going on behind the scenes. Can't give you any details, though. Let's say I was curious. I am very curious by nature. If one of my fellow archdemons is so very interested in something, I just need to check it out for myself. You know? See what all the fuss is about. <laughs> now I understand why. Your soul is a very delectable thing indeed. It looks like you're begging to be eaten at this point, and you don't even know it. No wonder the glutton's so busy keeping all these hungry vampires and imps off of you. You're a damned beacon, sweetheart. Plus, this little competition we got going on in the workplace, it fuels me like no other. Your envy, your jealousy, I fucking love it. Your emotions are so incredibly strong, you sure know how to feed us well. So, expect to see me around often. Now, 
Let's get you home, yeah? You can barely walk straight and you're starting to look a bit green in the face. <laughs> Told you, these shoes are brand new, sweetheart. So think twice before opening that pretty mouth of yours. <laughs>